Lots of interesting news this week from why Huawei may not be selling the phones in the US that we may have hoped, Samsung's new budget-friendly J2 Pro, and how Qualcomm is hoping to triple the hours of Bluetooth usage. <laughs> So remember, we got all excited a couple weeks ago about Huawei possibly partnering with US carriers to make their great best bang for your buck phones more accessible? Oh, well, maybe not. Now, we don't exactly know why the deal broke down, but the information has some speculation. AT&T allegedly called off the deal due to, quote, political pressure after the Senate and House Intelligence Committees sent a letter to the FCC raising, quote, fresh concerns about Huawei's plans. The information said that the letter, quote, cited an Intelligence Committee report on Huawei's alleged ties to the Communist Party, as well as China's intelligence and security services. Unquote. Now, in this case, it's sort of hard to know where the legitimate security concerns end and racism begins. Maybe it's a little of both. But it's not the first time that Huawei has been accused of being a security threat. In 2012, a Republican committee chairman, Mike Rogers, said on 60 Minutes, quote, If I were an American company today and you're looking at Huawei, I would find another vendor if you care about your intellectual property, if you care about your consumer's privacy, and you care about national security of the United States. Or maybe it's just good old-fashioned U.S. companies lobbying their U.S. government to defend their business interests. What do you think? Now, I know many of you are like me. You cling on to your wired headphones for dear life because as much as I want to, Bluetooth headphones just don't cut it when it comes to sound quality and battery life. But Qualcomm is trying to deal with the battery life problem a lot. Qualcomm is aiming to solve this problem with a newly unveiled QCC 5100 series of low powered audio system on a chips. The QCC5100 is a fully integrated Bluetooth audio solution packing in a Bluetooth radio, Class D headphone driver, 192 GHz, 24-bit codec, hybrid active noise cancellation, and sensory processing, and aptX HD technology. Whew all in a single chip. The new design boosts power efficiency, processing capabilities, and supports new use cases. The bottom line is that Qualcomm states that the QCC5100 series can help reduce battery consumption by up to 65% over previous chips, and it estimates playback time could triple when compared to today's Bluetooth devices. Okay, Qualcomm, my interest is peaked, as I'm sure many of you are. Now OEMs take that new technology don't make them look geeky like they're two baby suckers sticking in my ears. Make sure they stay in my ears and for the love of God, improve the sound quality. Now let's talk about the official budget-friendly Samsung J2 Pro. The Galaxy J2 Pro 2018 has a quad-core CPU clocked at 1.4 gigahertz, 1.5 gigabytes of RAM, and 16 gigabytes of storage. The device supports both micro SD cards for expanded storage, up to 250 gigabytes, and dual SIM cards. Instead of using a hybrid micro SD SIM card slot, Samsung included dedicated slots for both. That means you can expand your storage and use dual SIM cards at the same time. As for the display, the Galaxy J2 Pro 2018 carries a 5-inch Super AMOLED display with 960 by 540 resolution. Just above the display is a 5-megapixel camera with dedicated flash, and around the back we have an 8-megapixel shooter that can film 1080p video. Much like the rest of Samsung's lineup, the Galaxy J2 Pro 2018 retains the headphone jack. Woohoo! Hopefully that's a good omen that Samsung flagships will do the same this year. But don't bet on it. Now, if you want to get serious about branding yourself online, our sponsor domain.com is over 300 domain name extensions to fit your needs from .com to .club to .space. And the guys with domain.com love the Android Authority audience so much, they're showing their love by giving you 15% off an already really good price. For domain names, web hosting, or email, use our coupon code Android at domain.com checkout. When you think domain names, think domain.com. Bye.